Hi, this is Javan Tharoor, a chemical engineer by profession, going to continue our today's topic, work at height and fall prevention. Now, what is that? The purpose of standard, prevent injury and property damage when conducting work, work at height. The procedure is applicable to all vendors, this subcontractor and all level of supply chain where there are present persons working at height. What is main criteria? Look out and it definitely starts. Now, competent person, a person trained, experienced and authorized to carry out particular function. Fall protection equipment. The equipment typically consists double hook, full body harness, land lead, not exceeding 2 meter length and deacceleration de device. The system needs to be attached anchor point capable withstanding load at least 2270 kg. Work at height, all working at height about 2 meter height where there are risk of falling and person can become injured as factory act. And now work permit system. All high work which are not regular in nature should be covered under work permit system. Work permit is the issue and verified check by authorized person prior to start the work. Now work process based on operating procedure for work at height and fall prevention. Now the section operating procedure has been described. Each process work involves work at height, elimination or minimization program for work at height. First step to fall prevention is elimination. The minimization need the manual work at height through elimination of the need to perform work at height by eliminating the risk for implementation, fixed barrier, scaffold, mobile elevated work platform where reasonably practical as much work possible will be done at ground level, minimize work at height, section of still work can bolted together, pipe welded, radiography, carried out an item painted before being lifted into position. Now action prior starting work at height. If all work at height cannot be eliminated or minimized, the following action must be undertaken prior to starting the work. Now what is that? The prior to person at height or risk assessment must be carried out, identify the risk and safety measure necessary eliminate or reduce the risk. Collective protection measure must always consider preference individual protection measure where it is not reasonably practical to provide safe working platform. Person has real life use double hook full body safety harness lifeline with fall arrestor. A suitable rescue plan must be considered along with safety measure. A competent person must be verified the content of the procedure has been implemented before commencement of any work at height. Work may only commence with the written approval of the competent person. Now verification procedure before implementation. The prior work, initiating work, the equipment and location must be verified for safety and appropriateness using following step for all work more than one day in a duration, systematic verification of the satisfactory implementation, the procedure must carried out competent person at frequency appropriate duration and risk of the task. On completion of the work, it must formally verified by competent person. Then the workplace has been there satisfactory condition and all person have safety return from the workplace. Now, note. Many accidents occur because floor grating has been removed, not replaced, or superfluous material are left elevated position, causing slip, trip, and fall hazard. Now, general precaution for fall prevention. Apart from above listed step, following certain general procedure can be helped minimize the accident related fall while walking at height. For following precaution, must be adhered to whenever work at height is undertaken. This is irrespective of height. 
at work is being undertaken, the first consideration must always to provide safe working platform. The site of old stairway, floor, platform, walkway, building, now where person can fall and suffer injury, where article could fall and injure someone, must be protected. The double guard rail, tow bolt, 150mm height. Now, with regret, the permanent structure, such stairway, platform, much of the permanent height rail, as reasonably practical, should be installed when structure is at ground level, where this is not possible, when handrail, guard, rail must be keep placed with construction. Now closing, fault softening. While ensuring fault prevention is essential, it is also imperative to ensure the floor opening present in victimity, the height work are closed, covered properly to avoid person from falling into floor opening. All opening through which person can fall, suffer injury, must be covered and secured using material that sufficiently strong to support the force that may be subjected to the world hole or opening must be printed top side. The cover is not used. Opening must be protected. Rigid guard rail, adequate strength and toe bolt. When floor grating, they are removed. The fitting instrument cable. The area must be physically fenced. The sign put in place, rope or warning tab is not considered as being adequate. Fences must not be removed before floor is re-established and inspected. Collective safety measures such as safety net suspended beneath the area of work must be adopted for person installing floor panel and the floor panel look bolted in position as each one is fixed. The person not connected with work must be prevented from in adequately walking into the area until all panels are fixed and work completed, double guarded must be used for closing of such area and notice clearly display prohibiting unauthorized access. Now, careful uses hand tool. While working at height, the worker must be careful where hand and use support and where they are used undertaking work. In this case, uses approval, hand tool become almost important as users heavy, loosely, take it, inappropriate equipment can misbalance the worker leading to fall. Precaution must be taken, ensure that portable tool, hand tool, use elevated work area, cannot fall onto people below, safety net and or tow bolt suitable for this purpose. So as far reasonably practical barrier must be elected below to prevent person walking below such area. If none of the above practical then some of the protection falling tool must be implemented. Use strap, rope, attached tool, some of appropriate anchor. Now, uses of appropriate personal fall protection equipment. The fall protection equipment must be inspected by user and trained person only. The double hook full body safety harness that been used for arrested situation must be withdrawn, service and not rescue issue until after all full examination. Record of the result through examination must be kept on site and lifeline for arrester used to attachment the double hook full body safety harness must be horizontal lifeline must be made steel rope 12mm diameter installed of vest height or above tension by use turn buckle similar designed to support the maximum number of worker securely anchor at both end triplicate wire rope clamp and point able to withstand the dynamic load generated by fold any land yard must be made flame resistance material in a CR rail may be used enable more safe movement around certain area now Walk at height during adverse weather conditions. No. 1. Must be allowed. Walk at bed or walk in exposed position in rain, heat or strong wind. Also plant and equipment such as crane, mobile, elevated work platform, cradle must not be used such condition. Safe access and 
Egerless must be provided. All less walking into it, exits lifeline, pole arrestor, uses ladder, scaffold, and work platform, uses approved, full protection equipment, mandatory. The following procedure must be followed. Ensure approved equipment use, all scanner use, material examination and storage. All material must be examined upon arrival of site. During unloading, any detective item must be removed from the site, put into specially designated and marked storage area. Now special cases, where the provision work platform is no reasonably practically work does not fit into the category prefer the alternate safety measure must be agreed in advance. The representative use the following procedure must be followed selection approval, storage ladder, ladder can be used, light task or low risk, salt duration, but not more than one person must be on the ladder and the ladder must be secured. Prevent it from slipping outward, sideways. The employee must inspect the ladder before use. The person on the ladder must wear a safety harness to prevent falling. Ladder must be inspected. List once monthly. Must be good condition. Must be painted. Ladder must be installed. Angle 4 oblique 1. Must be extended appropriately 1 meter above. And working platform and must be secure. They cannot slip. Vertical ladder installed, construction purpose, height where person can fall more than 3 meter, must have cage, hoop to be fitted, ripple line, vertical lifeline, as the continue, sliding anchor point, safety harness, vertical ladder, 9 meter long, must be have platform every 9 meter before offset at every platform. Self-made ladder are not allowed at on site. Now, scaffold and work platform. Following procedure must be followed. Selection approval uses storage, the scaffold, and work platform. A register, all scaffold, erected, and dismantled site must be maintained. A trained, competent scaffold inspector must be inspect erected scaffold before first use. Before use, register all scaffold erected, dismantled on site must be maintained. A trained and competent scaffold inspector must be inspect. Erect scaffold before first use, before use, list once weekly thereafter, additional supervisor must inspect scaffold daily, the scaffold special or non-typical design, any scaffold greater than 10 meter in height must be designed by suitable qualified engineer, person erecting scaffold, steel ejector and any person likely to walk area or in circumstances where the provision of work platform is not practical, must be for protection equipment. All work platform must have top card rail, fixed height 1.1 meter, intermediate card rail, and top board, all side and well person article can fold. Work platform made loose plank and bolded forbidden gangway must be have guard rail and top board, all side where a person article may fold, scaffold erected around structure which have electrical services and where electric equipment to be used, work must be earth protected, person from electric shock, the earth cable must be routed to avoid damage from work equipment. Now responsibility implementing procedure. While responsibility implementing procedure, a personal employee, vendor, contractor, supply chain, anchor, specific responsibility allotted, significant standard in their mind. Now responsibility of department coordinator, personal head and site manager. What is that? The site must measure arrangements are placed and ensure that all work at height is properly planned and organized. All work at height take account weather condition that could endanger health and safety. Those involved in work at height are trained, competent. The place where work at height done safe equipment for work at height appropriate inspected daily basis the risk from fragile surface they are properly controlled and the risk from falling object are properly controlled now the employee duty what is that the report any safety hazard to superior and supervisor use any equipment supply properly follow safety training and instructions 
ट्रेनिंग बेस्ड ऑन द स्टैंडर्ड जनरल सेफ्टी नीड पीपी रिक्वायरमेंट पॉलिसी रिस्क फ्रॉम परफॉर्मिंग वर्क एट हाइट डिटेल द प्रोसीजर वर्किंग एट एलिवेटेड वर्क प्लस वर्क परमिट पॉलिटी को टेस्ट सेफ यूज सेफ्टी इक्विपमेंट सेफ यूज लेडर स्केपोर्डिंग इलेक्शन डेली इक्विपमेंट चेक इंक्लूडिंग सेफ्टी हार्डनेस इंस्पेक्शन रेस्क्यू टेक्निक rescue someone suspended from safety harness having fall into a safety net action to be taken in case emergency now document maintain work at head a uh, document work permit competent person list training record and pp inspection record all the documents are maintained before work at head permit start now okay guys this is up to a basic information about work at head I hope you get sufficient knowledge after watching my video. The next chapter, we have covered some another topic. Till then, goodbye and do take good care of yourself.